So if statins don't cause dementia, why do some studies make it seem like they might? I'm Dr. Simi Lee. I'm a cardiologist focused on women's heart health. This is part three of our statins and dementia mini series. And today we're going to clarify something really important. Why statins can look like they are guilty in some studies when the strongest evidence shows that they're not. If you missed parts one and two, definitely go back and watch those first. But otherwise, let's dive in. And by the way, if you feel like you need help with your heart health or you have questions about cholesterol, your heart disease risk, book a free consult with my team at Systole. I left the link for you in my bio. So you might have heard terms like correlation or causation or even the phrase that correlation does not equal causation. Statins and dementia are the perfect example. Here's the key. People are prescribed statins for heart disease risk factors, high cholesterol, diabetes, positive calcium scores. And those same risk factors also increase their risk of dementia. So when you compare those people on statins to people who are not on statins, statin users often start out with a higher underlying risk of both. That's called confounding by indication. This 2025 study makes this crystal clear. In over half a million adults, dementia diagnoses spiked in the first year among people who started a statin compared to those who didn't. This isn't because statins cause harm, but rather because people who needed to start statins for their heart disease risk factors were also at higher risk of dementia for the same reason. And when starting a new medication, they started seeing their doctor more. They had more visits, which meant more evaluations, which meant earlier diagnoses and pickups of cognitive decline. How do we know that? Well, if you look at the data here, after the first year, that difference in the diagnosis rate disappeared completely. Let me know in the comments what questions you still have about statins, dementia, or both, anything else related to heart health. And don't forget to follow to keep learning more about heart health.